Hi all, welcome to Technical API. So this video we are going to see some the limitation of the Blue Prism and uh, some of the process related Blue Prism Q and A. So we all know how to run BP process but some of us we may does you know how to run the BP process from command prompt so sometimes in deployment or else some sometimes BP cannot response during the running from studio in that time some we may use from command prompt so when you uh, run from command prompt you have to make sure you have to use the same command with process name and your user name and password authentication so it will run directly and you will it will take from your BP process and it will run on it so automate C is automate C and run is the command and this is the path you have to use once the path has been uh, added then machine name and uh, your user your name and your password so if you want to run from active directory to the command prompt you can use that command see sometimes there is some requirements to attach more than one instance to the desktop application so it is possible yes we can but if you want to attach more than one instance in the same resource in that time you have to distinguish from each in some other way which means name window title or attributes this kind of distinguish you have to be given properly before moving to attach more than one instance so sometimes putty is the application which has been used in unix so sometimes it is required to run unix putty so is it possible to automate putty yes it's possible we can automate blue prism in putty application when we run our process from control room it is throwing fail to perform navigate launch application already launch error sometimes it may run error when running from control room but it will not come along when you run from <coughs> sorry your desktop in running process studio so how to avoid this it's this is most of the BP developers will face this issue so uh, how to avoid this you can add logic so before launching the application check any process with name I explore is running so you can check through process VBO so this VBO visual business object will take all the process so you can check if it is running or not if yes then kill the process using your utility environment kill process utility environment uh, visual business object you can use kill command 
then again launch the application in that case you can avoid this type of things any web applications launching before launching any web application you have to check the explore is running or no explore process this is the common methodology we can use in blue prism so maybe when you are using from your desktop it will not happen but when you are moving into code into production or some other uh, uh, environment deployment it may it may come along with issue so you have to make sure you use your utility environment to kill the process before you're launching on it so when we automate blue prism with oracle java most of the time it's it will run slowness so in this situation how we can uh, avoid this slowness or else how we can manage our blue prism studio with the proper handling so first thing is if you have opening with multiple windows in java you have to minimize all except one that you want to interact with i will suggest close all you have to uh, java so when we talk about java so oracle java we see multiple pages sorry next multiple screens are in the same name so you can't identify your screen has been moved from one page to another page in the application we doesn't know so in that case you have to identify the main thing is suppose page one uh, suppose your screen one has one window name suppose uh, you're going with um, banking sector think about assume that so your first page is funds transfer so you got it so you have to extract the data funds transfer second is transaction successfully so you have to capture on it or transaction failed you have to capture on it so you in uh, in web application we can identify easily but in java application uh, every page or window title also same so that is the main problem in some of the java applications so you have to capture the particular word which always be static so during that you can uh, you can get the uh, window title you can make up on it this is the one thing or else you have to open only one time the one other has to be closed so this type of things will reduce the amount of elements blueprint has to read and match your element so try manually minimizing first then you can automate this via the navigate stage do action with the toggle minimize okay how to read email content and storing values in data items and moving further process so here we are seeing all the questions are some of the tricky questions so most of the technically strong leads will ask this question only so you have to make sure each and every point of the blue prism has very button in the email so when we talk about email we first we, we may have to uh, understand the email all the email configurations may come under the map ix business object so under the map ix we have used action list mails within day times action then you have to specify minimum date and time and maximum date time in the action so the thing things are very easy when you are sending and receiving and uh, setting times using map ix 
objects is really in date and time list mails within date times action you can use on it here we can see what are the limitation of the blue prism the first limitation is so when you are sending email from blue prism is limited to plain text only you can't send email with your html format or uh, some other image format like that sending email only limited to plain text only it's unable to interrupt html tags and this leads robot to incapability of sending tab related email through mapx mapx will not allow to send you with HTML tags so it will not allow you so whatever the inside the HTML it won't allow so what is the alternate you may have to create outlook object to overcome abomance problem user can also use existing object with the process specific requirements outlook new email base must be open using command line parameter rather than click a new email button on outlook home screen so in that case what we will do is suppose uh, i want to send html with uh, um, html tag or images through email that time we are practicing as directly we are opening into outlook.exe once your email has been opened so you have to uh, you have to extract your new email so once inside the new email you can copy and paste whatever the contents you have without using map ex then you can you can send your you can attach your file and you can trigger whatever the emails you want to send with the email ids so you can create this format store on it to the particular location and send it to uh, if you want to send op already outlook.exe will be opened then you can easily use send command to send the particular format using email so if you want to tell exactly sub i heard already the format of the email simply I open the template attaching the template and I'm sending on it that's all or else you can use the you can use the new email page command as well so the another one limitation is you can see right robot cannot differentiate between two windows running from same process so if you have two windows same process so robot may be unclear about the target window if more than one window we are running from the same process so in that case what what we have to do we have to disable before running the process or else you have to be make sure the specific titles has to be passed away yes this is the main main thing see your robo is running properly but your windows sleep mode is active so usually what you will do is in we are extended windows sleep mode sleep mode to never maybe you are setting server vdi if you set 
this sleep mode to never then probably probably your video will not disconnect or your settings will not disconnect so in the same time your process will be stopped after machine goes into sleep mode if you want to send the screenshot then it will send only the blank screenshot or else black screenshot so you can't identify how where it was happened when it was happened so in that case you you has to be make sure you have to use the region mode and global center restricted to work on active window only yeah if if you forgot to do it then your bot will send uh, every screenshot but not not moving to further process so you have to change the power setting to never go to sleep mode or some other scripts can be running to send special key if caps lock scroll key etc yeah you have to do it thanks guys thanks for watching this weekend see uh, more uh, topics in next video